Hello everyone, this is Mavic and welcome back to my channel. As many of you may have seen from my previous videos, I have collected a number of plants that have different care requirements. Some are growing outdoor, while I kept some of them indoor. And for today's video, I'll walk you through one of the grow lights that I use to keep my indoor plants happy and thriving. Hello everyone! And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button for more gardening, cooking, and travel tips videos. There's a lot of grow lights being sold that will cater to your budget and needs. I personally use a variety of grow lights. I'm sure you do too. I have a freestanding one. I have a grow light pad that I use to start my edible garden. I have strip grow lights and I have light bulbs that I can attach to a clip on or lamps. And one of the grow lights that I have used is the Sansi Full Spectrum Grow Light. In full transparency, Sansi sent this product to me in exchange for a product review. So yeah, I've been using this for about 3 months now and I've waited this long to give you an honest review of their product. So this is the 24 watt full spectrum grow light that I got from Sansi. The lamp body is made of special ceramics so it is heavier compared to other bulbs. And this is a patented technology. The ceramic dissipates heat more efficiently which means that the bulb does not get as hot compared to other bulbs. So less heat means more savings and longer lasting performance. And compared to other grow lights that produce red and blue lights, this bulb produces uniform natural light just like being outside. And this has a 60 degree beam angle to ensure a more uniform light intensity distribution, which means that every part of your plant will receive the same light intensity. So better beam angle plus strong light means better photosynthesis and healthier plants. And more importantly, this is so easy to install. This has an E27 socket base so you can put this in any standard E27 socket. In my case, I have a semi-industrial setup in my plant room, so I placed my Sansi bulb in a clamp light and I thought it looks good. And I also put one in this super cute lamp made of flat washers. Oh, and I move my plants around a lot and I also like to attend plant swaps, so the ability to move my grow light quickly is very important to me. These are the plants that I prepared for one of the swap events in my area. So I just move the clamp here to make sure that my plants are all perked up for the event. A plant friend of mine also uses a Sansi Grow Light for his gigantic peace lily plant. And this has definitely became a statement plant with those dramatic lighting. So yeah, I've been using Sansi for about 2 months now and I've seen wonderful results. I liked it so much that I bought a few more grow lights from their website. So I got these two smaller bulbs from my terrariums. And I also got this 60 watts heavy duty grow light that I plan to use for my plant room. Oh, and by the way, I also used this heavy-duty grow light in one of my live events and this made my setup look so much nicer and professional. The cold season is almost here so it is important that you start planning to make sure that your plant thrives even in winter. And if you're looking for a grow light, then look no further because I highly recommend Sansi Grow Lights. They have a number of products that will cater to your needs. And if you want to see the specific products that I'm using, I have included them and their links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.